Okay, welcome to part four of our minimalism composition exploration. So in this part, we're going to have a look at augmentation and diminution of no values. They're big words, but they're pretty, it's pretty obvious what they mean. Augment means to make bigger. To diminish or diminute means to make smaller. And a note value, well, that means things like from a crotchet to a quaver to a semi-quaver, etc. So it's useful to have an idea of what are the sort of what's the sort of series of longer to shorter note values so that we've got somewhere to work from. So to remember of what to remember what those are, the semi-brief is worth four beats, a minim is worth two. Then we have a crotchet that's worth one, a quaver that's worth a half a beat, and a semi-quaver that is worth a quarter of a beat. But we can also add another type of value into that, which is triplets. So basically, a quaver triplet is going to be quicker than a quaver, but a little bit slower than a semi-quaver. And I could add in, uh, in the same spots, I could add crotchet triplet, and on we go, but I'm not going to look at those today. So that's all the note values that we're aware of. So just to then put those onto the music so you can see what they look like. If we're going to use that series, and I'll see if I can get both up at once. There we go. So we've got our semi-brief, this one here. Then we've got minim, crotchet, quaver, quaver triplet. So I'll put that um, note in. Shortcut for triplet, by the way, Command-3 while the note's selected. And last of all, semi-quavers. So if I play just that part for you that I've just written in, you'll hear that it gradually gets faster, if you like. The notes get more and more rapid. There's our semi-breathe. Minimum, crotchet, quaver, quaver triplet. Okay, and they're virtually blending into each other because it's a, a viola part. All right, so we want to use that idea to um, to uh, expand what we've got at this point. Now, let's just then add one with a little bit of extra information. If I'm going to take this pattern, which is A, then E, then A again, and I'm going to augment it, and that means to take the same notes, so A, E, A, in the same order, but now using a longer rhythmic value. So they were using quaver triplets. Let's change that to quavers. So what I'll do is click escape a few times, click where I want the music to go, click quaver, and then type my notes in A, E, A. So that's augmented. And I could keep going. I could now put in some crotchets, A, E, A. And minims, A, E, A, and semi breeze, and etc. So you get the idea. Now, my concept for this piece is that at this point here, which is my second hit point, and once I've had just a little bit of time running through that fully developed phrase, we're going to have a um, have a bit of a change of things. We're going to have it so that these two parts are going to gradually get um, slower, so they're going to augment. And I'm going to add a part for the cello, which is going to diminute, get faster. So first of all, let's put that cello part in. I'm going to start here at my second hit point. I'm going to add crotchets, and I'm going to add this pattern, A, E, C. I want the C higher. So that's what I would like. R for repeat, so that I get that all the way through. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete what I had before. And so here at this point, this is going to diminute. Same for this one, but down the bottom, this is going to augment, repeat by augment. So let's have a go at that. This part here goes A, B, C, E, F, E, and at the moment it's in quavers. So I want it to get um, 
Actually, I flipped, I flipped those around the wrong way. Let me just fix that around, fix that up. So I want the cello part to get faster, the other two parts to get slower. So I'll just change my terms there. All right, good. So we want A, B, C, E, F, E. So again, I'm just gonna go crotch it, start typing it where I want it. Now you notice that they automatically put it up quite high. I like that, so I'm gonna keep it. So again, I'm gonna repeat that a few times. I'll get rid of these bits of text that we don't need. And the same for this second part. At the moment, I've got A, E, A. So I'm going to augment that from quaver triplets. I'm gonna make them um, longer, so make them into quavers. So A, E, A, using quavers. Select where I want it to go. Note value, A. I'm using command up and command down to move up and down an octave. So again, repeat that. Let's just get rid of the text so that I can do that easily. And I'm gonna do that through to here. And then down the bottom, I'm going to diminute this bottom part. So let's do that. It was A, E, C as crotchets. So I'm going to make that quicker. I'm gonna turn that into quavers. Okay. All right, now I'm just gonna go off camera for a bit and do the next couple of steps so that we can see that in total. Okay, so I've done the next couple of those augmentations and diminutions. What I'll do is I'll just hit play from um, from where they start and you can hear a couple of those to finish off the video. So here's the, um, from the second hit point. And here's the first spot where the augmentation begins. Notice the cello has sped up, the top parts have slowed down. Here's the next step. And then the final step, we've got semi quavers down the bottom. All right, cool. So, good luck applying that in your composition.